Did you know that animals can also become addicted to drugs? Well, there even exist parrots which literally cannot live without them anymore. Indian farmers already had to deal with them, and they were definitely not amused. Therefore, these parrots are not quite portrayed in a good light in the news. There are headlines like, Wild parrots are destroying poppies to feed their opium addiction. Or, Opium addicted parrots are terrorizing poppy farmers in India. Indeed, it is a complicated situation for the Indian poppy farmers. India is one of the few countries where opium cultivation is allowed, of course under strict conditions. And besides losing important parts of their harvest, thus also money, farmers even run the risk of losing their license to grow opium. However, needless to say that the parrots do not care much about it, because they have their very own worries. They have to find their drugs. They have to get high with the opium. One could ask, how could these poor parrots sing so deeply, just like some humans? The answer is easy. It wasn't really their choice. It just took one parrot who tried eating the poppy juice from the plant. After being high, the effects of the drug wore off and the parrot felt the urge to eat more of the satisfying juice. Just like humans, the parrot got addicted. The parrot's friends and his family were watching it eating again and again from the opium poppies. And every time, they saw it in an extremely good mood. Honestly, could you resist to try eating it too if you saw him that happy with it? Well, his friends couldn't. And this is how a whole swarm of parrots got addicted to opium. Ever heard of heroin? Sure. And morphine? Maybe. Right at the beginning, we would like to point out that morphine is mostly used for medical purposes. One cannot pretend the same from heroin, which is forbidden almost everywhere in the world except in some countries, like Great Britain and Canada, where it is still used in medicine. Do you know what opium exactly is? In fact, it is not a well-known drug like cannabis or alcohol, but one can obtain morphine from it, and by adding two acetyl chlorides to morphine, we get heroin. So basically, heroin is just morphine with two ester functions. But let us come back to opium itself. In fact, opium is only the dried juice from the plant called opium poppy, or the not-so-fancy Latin name, Papaver somniferum. The main components of opium are 12% of morphine, 2% of codeine, which is also used in medicine as a painkiller, and 0.5% of thebane. As one can see, the chemical structures are very similar. The only difference are the two left functional groups. Morphine has two alcohol functions, whereas codeine has only one plus a methoxy group, and thebane has only two methoxy groups. These molecules are named opiates because they derive from opium. Of course, the parrots don't know that, even though they are very clever when it comes to choosing the perfect moment to plunder the opium. First, they wait while the farmers are following the typical procedure to harvest the opium. About one week after flowering, usually during an afternoon, the farmers scratch the seed capsules about one millimeter deep. During the drying process, the former poppy juice becomes a brown to black mass. Then, in the following morning, the black oxidized opium is normally scraped off the capsules. But often, it seems like the parrots are taking over this task, to the displeasure of the farmers, of course. Now, let us return to our beloved biochemistry. We know that the natural substances obtained from opium are called opiates. Well, these molecules also belong to a group named opioids. Oh no, not another name I won't remember. They are called opioids because they can bind to opioid receptors. And what are opioid receptors? They are a kind of proteins on the surface of nerve cells. Only opioids can bind to this kind of receptors. That's why they are called opioid receptors. The reason why they even exist in humans is that opioids produced naturally in the body can bind to them. One of them is endorphin one of the so-called happiness hormones. Very simply summarized, one can say that endorphin binding to this receptor makes you happy in a way. Furthermore, it relieves pain. This is called analgesic. Just like endorphin, other opioids like morphine and heroin can bind to these opioid receptors too. This is due to the similarities in their structures. However, the intensity of the effects can vary. For example, Heroin is two times more analgesic than morphine, and also leads to a moment of strong euphoria. That's why it's often misused as a hard drug. Unfortunately, it has many side effects. 
For example, it is highly addictive, the pupils constrict, the skin blushes and it has negative psychological effects. Moreover, constant use of heroin causes the brain to produce less of its own endorphins. When this is the case, the addict's body becomes barely capable of managing small amounts of pain or discomfort. So, what did we learn? Don't do drugs. That's right. Let's summarize what we learned. Opium contains opioids like codeine or morphine. And from this, heroin can be produced. Opioids in general relieve pain, anxiety, and they trigger relaxation, which is why they are used as pain relievers in medicine. These effects aren't permanent, and they wear off after about 4 hours. After each consumption, your body develops a resistance to these effects, meaning you have to take even more of these substances in order to achieve the same effect. In the end, you only destroy your irreplaceable organs, such as your kidney, your liver and your brain. In extreme cases, it even leads to death. As you can tell, we are not the only ones getting addicted to drugs. For example, our beloved parrots. Apart from learning that drugs are not that healthy, what you already knew before, you hopefully learned something new while watching this video and you enjoyed it.